this will be our final session on doors. We started off with looking at your front door from the outside. And after noting its characteristics, basic characteristics I may add, we moved on to the doors of vehicles and then back to doors in your own home. In this final theme, we're going to show you the importance of doors. And you're going to think to yourself, what do doors do? Environmental training is all about stretching your mind. The more you stretch your mind, the better it is as a tool. These games are of no use to you if you can't use them in all areas of your life. There's not much point in being able to concentrate on a door if you can't concentrate at work, if you can't concentrate when driving. The whole point about doing such exercises is that when you really need to concentrate on something important, you've got the mind already trained. If you've got used to doing boring things, then you won't find problems boring. You will just say to yourself, it's not to my taste, but it's something that needs to be solved. I've got the power to solve it, and I'm going to solve it. If it's something that you cannot solve, because it's not in your power, i.e. it is out of your control, for example the weather, you will be able to control your thinking patterns and ensure that you don't make yourself miserable by worrying about things out of your control. So the more you do these exercises, the better you'll be able to control your mind. It is better to get one exercise and work it to death than hopping from a variety of exercises. Stretch it to death. That's why we've stretched this theme of doors. To show you that there's more to a door than actually meets the eye. And we're finishing off this theme of doors by getting you to close your eyes and think about what doors do. In order to think of what a door does, you imagine yourself doing things with doors. And as you imagine each thing, the next thing will come up. So shut your eyes and put yourself either inside your home or outside your home. But we're going to start with inside one's home. And the first way, in the bathroom. So the first thing, doors shut. So doors shut and doors open. That's the second thing. The third thing, doors jam. So you've had experiences of a door being jammed. What is the fourth thing that you can think about a door? They creak. Think of those horror movies with the creaky door before the monster strikes. So that's the fourth thing that doors creak. The fifth thing is that they make a sound. Now it's interesting when we just when we make this remark about doors making a sound. What sort of sounds does a door make? We've already mentioned creaking. But surely when the handle is turned, certain doors you can hear the handle being turned. You will find that if you listen, you will hear. So that's the fifth thing. But what you begin to realise is that there's what we call the door and there are the components of the door. There's the door, there's the door handle, there's the door latch, there's the keyhole. All these things all make up the door. 
When the door shuts, everything goes with it. But if paint peels from the door, the door can still shut. However, if the handle is not there, the door can't be locked. So you can see the importance of doors. So next time when you hear someone say, oh, just shut the door, you will laugh to yourself and you will say, a door is not just a door. A door is more than a four-lettered word in English. We hope you've enjoyed this session of doors at environmental training.